So you're a small business owner and you're wondering, how do I know what designs are trending, what are going to be popular, what are going to sell well? So if you have those questions, you're just like every other business owner, but let me give you some tips. The first thing that I want to touch on before getting into ways to figure out what's popular, what's trending, is you have to know your audience. And what that means is when you first start a business, you really want to focus on building your audience first. Example, when I first started my business, my audience grew pretty quickly because it was based around Halloween stuff and my audience just absolutely loves Halloween stuff. I could I could strictly have a Halloween shop and do that all year long and I know that my customers would love that. Now you might have customers that hate Halloween or they just don't want Halloween all year. So my customers love true crime. I've kind of really worked on building my audience around things that I like and things that I would buy. And you don't have to do that, but the only reason that I did that was because I was making a lot of things that I would wear. I just really wanted to make things that I enjoyed looking at, I enjoyed making. So that was kind of the reason that I did that. Not all people wanna do that. I mean, you could sell things that you wouldn't necessarily wear or you wouldn't necessarily like. That is totally up to you. You can run your business however you want to. But I just want to say that it is very important to grow your audience and understand what it is that they like because if you grow an audience based around something and then you're throwing something else at them that they might not like and then you're not making sales that could be a reason okay so one tip is you could go on to etsy etsy has tons of designs a lot of the time they have like a badge underneath things that are saying like bestseller or you know if you type in let's say you're really wanting to push out christmas stuff get on Etsy, type in Christmas designs, and it's going to pop up what is popular, what is trending. That is always the first thing that I kind of go and look at. Now, not all the time something that's popular on there I'm gonna like or think that my customers are gonna like, but that's just always a good spot to start. I also think that a lot of the groups of other small business owners that make designs, a lot of them really do work hard to follow the trends so if you're gonna buy from those designers definitely check them out and get on there and just see what it is that they're putting out what you think is popular it's a good way to see what other t-shirt makers or cut makers are putting out because this is what the designers are making another good way to kind of figure out what is trending is you could go to craft and trade shows around you so what are the other vendors kind of putting out that appear that they are selling really well i will say that it is important when you are in the craft space or the small business space to be a couple months ahead so right now right now it's what october 21st so i would be done with halloween um unless you're selling to people locally i do tons of shipping to people all around i don't do a ton of local sales um, i ship everything so i don't do like local pickup or nothing so for me because i am shipping i'm done with halloween we are on to Thanksgiving, which Thanksgiving usually is like a little short window for me. And then we're mostly working on Christmas. So definitely be ahead. I mean, you're going to be getting sales for Christmas stuff, obviously a couple months now, but I always say be ahead of the game. I mean, always even follow looking at the stores, you know, they have Christmas stuff out and Halloween stuff all at the same time. They have those things out because that is what's selling and that is what's doing well. Another really good thing that you can do is just survey your customers, ask them like, hey, what are we interested in right now? What do we want? There's a lot of the time there's things that surprise me that my customers want. There's times where I'll put something out and I don't really necessarily like it. I don't, I wouldn't say I don't like it. I would just say it's just not my absolute favorite thing and I'll put it out and it just does super well. Dog stuff, that's kind of the one that always surprises me. I'll put something out and everybody loves it. Ask your customers, hey, what kind of shirts would we want right now? Would we want true crime? Would we want Halloween? Would we want Christmas? Um, do we want inappropriate sarcasm shirts? Like what is it that you guys want to see me make? You could do a poll, just all those things. You could send an email out. Another good way is by looking into other uh, groups of people making things that you make. Um, that was something I kind of did when I first started. I would get in those groups and I would see what shirts or designs that other makers were making and putting out there that other people were like loving and 
asking like where did you get that design from and asking all these questions about it because it looked so good that's another good way to kind of gauge like what are other um, creators making that I could also make that I think that my customers would really like but like I said in the very beginning it is so so important to grow your audience and know what exactly it is that they're wanting and what they like and I know that sounds much easier said than done but I promise if you have an audience of people you know based around things that you know that they're going to like it's going to make your job a lot easier versus trying to cater to all these different wants and needs and likes and I'm not saying that these customers are going to like every single thing you put out because that's not true like I said sometimes my customers surprise me a little bit and they'll like something that I didn't think that they would like um but just really understanding what it is that they like will help you out so, so much. You know, a lot of people, when they first try to grow their page, you know, they're just trying to do everything they can to get all these, you know, likes and followers and stuff, which is great. But if those aren't people that are necessarily going to buy from you or like your shirts, it's not super helpful to you because then you have all these like followers on there that are not active and that doesn't really help you out. So you're just starting out really work on building your audience based around what it is that you're wanting them to be about and if you already have an established business and you're just struggling to kind of figure out like what it is that they're liking just really work on asking them what it is that they want and then start building from there and this is another reason that i think that it is so important to have a facebook page and not just a facebook group because when you have a Facebook page, people can share the thing. So if you share something that is so funny and so trendy, it's getting so much interaction, people can share it. And then that's gonna reach another person and another person is gonna reach their friends and their friends and their friends. And that's how you kind of find all these people that are liking these funny things you're putting out or these cute things you're putting out, whatever it is. By having that business page and by getting those shares, that can really, really help you versus just having a group where it's just showing it to the people within that group. They can't just share it. And it just makes it a little more, bit more difficult. It's important to have all these different platforms of your business all over the place so that people aren't just in one spot seeing it. And I'll make another video talking about how to keep your audience engaged. That's a whole nother topic. But yeah, I hope that some of these tips were helpful because I know that it can be really, really hard to figure out what's popular in my course group that's asked all the time like how am I supposed to figure out what to even make or what people are going to like so yeah I hope that was helpful I will see you in the next video